Altaria, the humming Pokemon. Altaria glides up into the sky using its wings like sails to catch rising breezes. I hope Altaria's beauty and grace doesn't fool Ash. Warning! Invincible, with Altaria, you're predictable, yes, all the RG axes you call upon, but it's gonna be your downfall, yo, dragons are gonna strike, guardian conductions are right, g axes can't even fight, cause the tone is just too bright, yeah, attacking on repeat, I feel like a hoopah does look key, but it shows where the matter is weak, so give it up and admit defeat, cause we smack down a lot of yo's, your prism star is what I chose to sweep you in, it's definitely dope, but DCE and your KO, boom! Episode 187, Altaria GX, Ra! What's up YouTube, it's Zander CCG here and welcome to episode 187 on my channel. As you know on my channel we talk about the latest cars and best new decks in town so be sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out. And also smack that little notification bell so you get updated immediately when a new video pops up on the channel. Okay today we are still covering some new cars from the upcoming Dragon Majesty set which comes out this Friday. And today on the menu we have Altaria GX. This is quite the underrated GX card and I actually forgot it and my top 10 best cards from Dragon Majesty video but today I'm here to make it up since we're gonna talk all about Altaria GX and what it's capable of. You ready? Let's go! Alright, Altaria GX is a stage 1 Dragon type GX with 200 HP which is on pair with things like the Evolution GX cards and Lycanara GX so it's pretty average. Being a Dragon type means we are searchable uh, thanks to Mysterious Treasure although it should be noted here that the little swap loop from which it evolves is just a colorless type. Also uh, we have some neat tricks that we can work with like Devoured Field to deal some extra damage and the supporter Zinnia to have some energy acceleration if the opponent knocked out one of our Pokemon during their previous turn. Also, we are searchable with Lance Prism Star, so being a Dragon type is quite good nowadays thanks to Dragon Majesty. It also has a 1 retreat cost which is totally awesome and uh, which means uh, we can just get it out of the active with things like a skateboard. Uh, uh, it's also weak to Fairy which is not good at all since I do expect Gardevoir GX to make uh, kind of the comeback here because Dragon is being played a lot because of uh, Rayquaza GX and a Lost Thunder we're also getting a little Ninetales GX, the Fairy type, so I definitely expect a lot of more fire fairy send the format so be careful of that but now let us look at the wonderful attacks that it has the first attack brightstone deals 50 damage for a fairy energy and a carless energy and it states prevent all damage done to this pokemon by attacks from your opponent's pokemon gx and ex during your opponent's next turn so the exact same thing like verdict gx on zygarde gx but uh want to know what the best part of the attack is well it's not a gx move which means we can use it every single turn and uh, use that on repeat uh, and most decks that are heavily reliant on GX cards might struggle against this kind of strategy and it's kind of annoying to say the least. I know there are answers to this uh, attack like uh, you can Guzma around it for example or uh, you can use a non-GX Pokemon to deal some damage but I definitely like this attack. I know the damage output is rather low and we, knew, uh, we need two energies uh, since double dragon energy is only legal and expanded but think about this, we have the Virate field, we have choice band, we are already uh, dealing dishing out damage here for 90 so uh, dealing that attack is two shutting a lot of things and uh, if we just uh, smack down a baby Altaria which is also in the set we deal 110 damage for uh, that attack and then we, we become invincible for a turn. For those of you that haven't heard about the non GX Altaria, well it boost the damage uh, output for all of your dragon types by 20 so an Altaria GX deck can actually work uh, out against a lot of uh, matchups because think about it Zora GX is a GX Pokemon that is used a lot Nagadadel GX Beast Bug deck is also one of those decks that uses a lot of GX Pokemon so it's definitely worth the shot I know 50 damage isn't a lot but as mentioned we have Choice Band adding it up to uh, 80 damage we have the Viral Field that is uh, yeah, even more damage that is 90 damage and then of course with a baby Altaria it's 110 or even potentially more if you have more multiple Altarios out. Uh, so uh, let's face it, if they cannot damage you every turn, you'll sooner or later win, right? <laughs> but also remember that there are still some powerful non-GX attackers in the format, for example, Baby Boswell and Trash Lange Garbodor. 
Now let's check out the second attack for a water, a fairy on the car's energy. You deal 110 damage and the attack's damage isn't affected by any effects of your opponent's active Pokemon. I know, I know, the damage output sucks uh, when uh, we think about the crazy attack cost, but this can go through all effects, meaning we can hit a Zygarde Jack that has uh, used Verdict Jacks, we can hit Darwin's Necrozma Jack that used the Moon Eclipse Jacks, we hit through everything. More importantly, we hit even through a Hoopa from Shining Legends with the attack. I know we don't knock it out, but with a simple Altari on the bench or a Devoured Field, we can start one-shotting those annoying stalling Hoopa. So if we look at it from that perspective, I do think that this is an okay attack. And now for the GX move, Euphoria GX. For a Fairy and a Car's energy, it states, your opponent's active Pokemon is now asleep. Haha. -ha. And then we heal all damage from all of our Pokemon. And uh, that I do like a lot because a lot of Shrine of Punishment spread decks are still around. Uh, they are still annoying because they spread a ton of damage around. And uh, with this, we simply heal off in uh, crucial situations. And uh, if uh, the opponent <laughs> is uh, asleep, we can also stall for a turn if we uh, have a little bit of luck on our side with the coin flips. So now that we've reviewed the card entirely, let us look at some deck ideas for it because Altaria is looking to be kind of those decks where you use the first attack on repeat. Okay, first one uh, should be pretty obvious. Uh, we are gonna make a pure Altaria deck uh, relying on Altaria, Jax and Altaria. We try to set up uh, some Swablu on the bench and uh, with the help of Lance Prism Star, we might even get out uh, more Altarias than you think. Also, Ditto Prism Star might uh, uh, play a role in this uh, shenanigans because I don't know if you noticed, but uh, before you uh, add, uh, yeah, ask that question, you can have four Altaria Jaxes in your deck and you can also have four regular Altarias in your deck because they don't have the exact same name. I don't recommend using those numbers uh, for the maximum amount of copies here, but it's just something that I wanted to mention. So you uh, just want to start off, get your swap loose on the bench as early as possible, and then uh, the turn after that you can evolve uh, all of them, and you can even rely on Lance Prism Star to get all other Altarios out as well, because those little swap loose will hit the discard pretty soon, and uh, Lance Prism Star can then get activated thanks to Tapu Lily Search, etc. Also, swap loo, uh, is uh, yeah, just the uh, annoying thing about this deck is that uh, the opponent will easily one shot them, but. You also have access to Zinnia and you have access to the, uh, of course, uh, Lance Prism Store, so that is a good thing. With damage modifiers like Devour Field and Choice Ban, we will use the first attack Bright Tone on repeat. That way we become invincible and uh, the opponent will have to rely on Guzma if they're playing all GX Pokemon, which is most of the time the case. So, uh, and if they're true, all of their Guzmas, you're, you're automatically are gonna win unless they have a strong non-GX stackers. So uh, in that particular deck that we're playing with Altaria and Altaria Jax, I also recommend Drompa for some energy acceleration because uh, if Altaria sees the discard, it might be difficult to set up another one because we need two energies and double dragon energy is not the case. And expanded, this could be way better as mentioned, but the Zinnia combo can also work in certain situations. Also, don't forget that we have access to the Latios Prism Star, which deals 50 damage for each of your dragon type evolutions. So uh, the more Altarias you have, the more damage just one prize attack attacker will deal and uh, with a DCE it can get tons of KOs, it also has 140 HP so very hard for the opponent to one shot so you might get in multiple KOs thanks to Altaria. Uh, then of course the baby Rayquaza from Guardians Rising can also put energies onto Altaria if you uh, think about it if we're running DCEs in our deck. Next idea would be to use a 2-2 line of Altaria GX and a Gardevoir GX deck. Why do I say this? Well you have a ton of max potions uh, that we can just scratch from the list here because Altaria GX comes back with with the Euphoria GX that can heal all the Pokemon in the field. Leaving the opponent asleep can also uh, benefit in certain situations. That can definitely work out because we can set it up in one turn thanks to the Secret Spring ability of Gardevoir GX and uh, because Gardevoir its GX move isn't always the most useful one uh, in every game it's definitely a nice addition. Not to mention that you can also attack with the Bright Tone to just stall a bit because that way they definitely need a Guzma if they're only playing GX Pokemon and that will definitely leave them in awkward situations. That is definitely a crazy idea to test out. Then our final idea would be playing it with Hoopa. Hoopa can also not get attacked by EX and GX cards with its ability. So we would be playing Unit Energy which covers the necessary energies perfectly. We have the Darkness Energy that covers Hoopa and the Fairy Energy for Altaria GX. So that's a really nice combo. 
So we would just play those to just slow the game down and use enhanced hammers, crushing hammers, that plumeria even, to just have some good disruption with those Pokemon. We have a basic attacker like Hoopa, and we also have uh, Altaria to just uh, put that attack on repeat. So that can definitely work out. Uh, also, uh, as mentioned, Shrine of Punishment can be a thing here because you can heal off all the damage when things get rough. Also, a Quad Altaria Jax deck could also work out where the opponent is just uh, struggling what to do because every time you're gonna use that Bright Tone attack. But of course, the best way to play Altaria Jax will be an expanded with of course double dragon energy we would use Lance Prism Star attach a double dragon energy and start rolling immediately maybe we can pair it with Noivern GX as well and expand it that might be a really really great idea because we can choose either to go for item lock or to go uh, to be invincible for EX and GX cards in certain situations if you're facing a non GX deck you would go for Noivern with the Lance Prism Star otherwise you would just go uh, and become invincible with of course the bright tone and that's it for another episode on the channel I I know it's a rather short one uh, compared to the other episodes, but there isn't much to talk about Altaria Jax. Unless I'm missing something, be sure to uh, put it in the comment section below if I miss something with Altaria Jax. Let me know what you will play with Altaria Jax, and uh, yeah, I'm interested to hear your opinion on this uh, new Jax card. Also, smash the hell out of the like button because you know I always appreciate that, and uh, yeah, if you enjoy the content, definitely do that because that helps out the channel tremendously. And episode suggestions are always welcome as well, so definitely put those in the comment section as well. And that pretty much wraps it up once again. I wish you all a very fantastic rest of your day and I will see you all in the next Pokemon TCG video. I'm out. Peace. If you wanna go and test the deck that isn't played a lot in this format then listen to what I'll say. Hey, if you wanna go and try it out with me let me know how it does in a tournament I think it could be really great. Hey, Chilling on Sundays while new ideas pop in my brain Where is